The Florida Center for Students with Unique Abilities at UCF is a opportunity that really exists only in Florida. And it's a result of a law that was established back in January 2016, the Florida Post-Secondary Comprehensive Transition Program Act. And it established the center at UCF. It also established what's known as Florida Post-Secondary Comprehensive Transition Programs. The focus of our center is on developing new programs that serve students with intellectual disabilities, post-secondary education programs, helping existing programs expand and improve, serve more students, improve their outcomes, deliver resources that will help them establish their programs, grant funds, and then support their students through awarding scholarships. Each of our programs is different based on the needs of that area of the state. So the program that is at Florida Keys Community College is very different from the program at Santa Fe College in Gainesville. And that's what we want. We want for the programs to meet the needs of the area. In our National Center, with our work with all the states, we have a capacity building process that really brings in strategic planning for state teams and local district teams around the country to learn how do we teach people about the science and help them plan how to implement the science. And we're doing the same thing at the center. We're replicating that model, so we're taking that expertise embedding it into a strategic planning process and then using that process with these institutions around our state uh, to help them figure out how do we take the science, how do we take what we know and put it in practice at our institution. Coming from Indian River State College, I would recommend this to any college, university, any technical school to have a program for our students with intellectual disabilities because they have the right to have their career through Project Stage. We see our students as being successful, being able to go out into the community, get gainful employment in the area that they are certified in, being able to work with those employers to make sure that the students are engaged in what they have been studying. We, what we got when we first started were iPads and we use that we use that for like any topic that we're talking about like if it has to do with like nutrition we'll like use the iPads and look that up like look up like healthy stuff or like we'll use it to to add or subtract anything that we're we're doing some of us have wallets on there so it like helps us like um, like budget our money and it'll tell us how much we spent that day and then it'll, it'll subtract it. Through this project, through the grant, we're able to have these students going out there and living life as everyone else. The impact that I've seen the center have is not just on the students, primarily with the students, is that without the center, a lot of our students wouldn't be able to be here because of the scholarship provided. But additionally, I utilize the center for resources, through conferences, so that impact that feeds directly to me, then I can flow down directly to the students. I used to live in Vero Beach, Florida, but I came all this way so I can be educated and um, to learn the skills, job trainings, so I can be fluent constantly, so I can have a real job after I graduate. Being here, it was nervous and hard at first, but I get to know people, I get to like know my classes and the schedule, and things became easy at the end. It's gonna help me to, to prepare when I, when I go into the, 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 the workforce. It's going to help me to, to succeed. Particularly, there's a handful of students I've worked with, and just in this past semester, they've grown exponentially. I've had students who weren't able to communicate very much to me at all. It was a really difficult process to get anything out of them in particular. And just in this one semester I've been working with this student, I've watched them develop as a student, as a person, as an individual. And it's kind of looking out even side of the classroom and they're growing as people and hopefully members of society. What I hope to see is this continued drive. It's really important to see universities across the country accept 
inclusive education services on their campus, not just as, hey, we have this, but to really make it part of the culture of the campus. Most people's problem is they're uncomfortable with anybody that has any type of disability. And to have that be the kid next to you in class or the kid in the dorm next to you, that's how you facilitate change. We want doors to continue to open. So we want to have high expectations for everyone. And we don't want to get in people's way. Let's put out opportunities. Let's figure out how we help people succeed. Because I think there's so many people out there that have skills and, and abilities and, and the motivation to achieve. And there just might not be a door open to them. The idea is develop career plans, Think of what your goals are. What are your interests? Let's connect the dots for people.